Okay, it's pot three time, it's our turn. Oh, come on, let's see who we're gonna get. Yes, it's Spurs, come on. Who do we have? D or H? D has Barca and Juventus in it, and H has Real Madrid. Oh my God. No, we got Real. We got Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund. Oh, anyways, if you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. So rather, I guess now in the group stages. If you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. Group H, also referred to as the group of death, and we topped it. To dare is to do, and that's exactly what we did in this season's Champions League campaign so far. Hello everyone, and welcome back. Let's get into the Dortmund review. So I said in my preview, I wasn't 100% sure what sort of team we're going to go for, but I wanted us to go for this game and not just rely on the home leg against Apoel. And that's exactly what Poch did. He put out a really strong side, Lloris in goal, the normal back three now, Dyer, Sanchez and Vertonghen. Rosa Noria came in as wing backs, Winks, Deli and Eriksen in the middle and Son and Kane up front. It was an early break and there was a shot from Son, blocked from a corner. The game settled down a bit. We were quite content in letting Dortmund have majority of the possession and we just wanted to hit them on the counter-attack. We dodged a bullet though at 18 minutes when Aubameyang was through onside and he just somehow missed the target. Don't know how he missed that goal. And in the first half, it seemed like Eriksen and Ali were once again a little anonymous. Son found it hard to get really involved again in the game. He was trying really well, but we were just lacking a little bit of pace once again. So after around 30 minutes, Dortmund decided they don't want to get bored to death. So after a lovely firing move, Aubameyang was once again in position and he took a lovely strike, unfortunately, and he scored the opening goal of the night. Maybe Lloris could have closed the angles a little bit better, but hey, they scored in the end of the day. And that seemed to wake us up. We actually started playing much better after we conceded a goal. Uh, we had the chance, Eriksen took a shot, which went out for a corner, uh, following a Rose cross. And following them that corner, Dyer had a header. Oh, that was such a good header, but it was a really, really good save from their keeper as well. So we went into half time, 1-0. Overall, was in the best of halves. As I said, we were a bit slow beforehand, and then the goal kind of woke us up. A few players were a little bit quieter than usual, but then the second half changed a bit. So no changes at half time, but the half time team talk must have done wonders because we pretty much came out a few minutes after the break and Harry equalised for us a lovely ball from Ali, who as I said previously wasn't quite involved in the game, but he provided the assist for both of the goals actually. He did really well and Harry's clinical finish saw us go to level terms. So if I thought that their goal woke us up, well this one actually galvanised us. Everybody started to look so much better. Our attacks were much more fluent, much more livelier as well. Delhi had a shot which went wide. Kane almost put Ericsson through. Delhi slipped in some but it was saved. So we looked much, much better. And then on 75 minutes we got our reward. Delhi Ali once again proving why he is so vital to this team absolutely mind-blowing skills to put Son in position who blasted it into the top right corner a beautiful goal beautiful setup as well and a lovely goal from Son saw us go 2-1 up in this game and boy I think we really really deserved it at that point so and after that it was really just game management Dembele came on for Deli, Sissoko came on for Eriksen and Lorente came on for Kane. Now there was still time for Dyer to pull out some amazing defensive work once again. And speaking of Lorente, he had a pretty good chance one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, he failed to score. What a way to bounce back from Saturday's results. Not only have we qualified in the previous game, we are now top of the group. And in the last game, we could still go unbeaten, which would be pretty miraculous, I must say. The contrast between this season's Champions League campaign and the last one, I, I can't even start to emphasise it. Who was your man of the match? Because I have to think about two players who really stood out for me throughout the whole game, first half included as well. Dyer and Sanchez, I think both of them played so well. Sanchez has been a rock for us this season at the back. The way he's come in to play just so well week in week out I'm absolutely amazed but Dyer as well he had a really good header as well and some great defensive work so I think I'm going to edge it to Dyer although Son's movement really caused them some issues so let me know who your man the match was in the comments down below I would love to hear your views about this game as well that's pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed just to let you know I will be starting a new full-time job in December so I won't be uploading so much during the week more or so on the weekends I hope that's all right with you if you enjoyed this video then please leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you would like to see more Spurs related content from me check out my social media handles in the description box down below hopefully I will see you in the future and come on you Spurs